In today's video, we're going to be talking about the top three cities where you can find your dream new construction home. Orlando has grown significantly in the past maybe five years, and the area that is very well known for its growth is located on the southeast part of Orlando. Here you can find the Lake Nona area, um, Meridian Park, Story Park. Um, but in today's video, I want to talk about the Davenport area, St. Cloud, and also Apopka. The first city I want to talk about is Davenport, Florida. Davenport, Florida is a city located in Polk County, just southwest of Orlando. It's uh, exactly at 29 miles from Orlando, 23 miles from Disney, and 35 miles from the Orlando International Airport. Davenport has seen a lot of growth, growth in the last years, and you can find a lot of new construction homes, townhomes, and single-family homes here. In Davenport has a population of about 10,000 residents, of these, 93% own a place and only 7% rent. One of the key factors that I want to highlight about living in Davenport is the cost of living. Since, since housing is a one of the key factors and components of the cost of living, I wanted to highlight that Davenport, um, the median value of a home is $370,000. And as of March of 2024, the rent was about 2,300. Also in Davenport, the median household income is about $60,000 per year, which is about five times the median home value of the area. Since transportation is a very important topic for many of us, in Davenport, you can expect to commute to and from Davenport for about an average of 30 to 45 minutes. You can travel to Orlando or maybe the Tampa area. And um, well, Tampa area will take you maybe an hour or so, but to Orlando and the rest of the areas, you can expect about, depending on the traffic, about 45 minutes. So it is estimated that about 4,000 of the residents in Davenport commute to work every day, and about 5% of the residents um, work from home. So from Davenport, we have I-4 that I mentioned before that can take you to uh, Tampa area, also Lakeland, in Orlando, and you have alternate routes that can take you locally. Um, with that, we have Route 27, which can help you travel to Haines City in many of the towns that are close by, and also Route 17 and 92, which can take you um, to Kissimmee area. Now, moving on to St. Cloud, Florida. St. Cloud has also experienced a lot of growth, and it has a lot of new construction homes happening right now. And um, first of all, let's mention that St. Cloud is located in Osceola County, and is southeast of Orlando, 25 miles, uh, give and take, from Orlando. It's about 20 miles from the Orlando International Airport and 28 miles from the downtown. It's also about 14 miles from the sister city of Kissimmee. The population in St. Cloud, it's about 60,000 residents, of which 71% of the residents own a place and only 29% of the residents rent. Um, you can expect the medium home value as of February of 2024 was $4,013,000, and the median rent price as of March of 2024 was about $24,000 not 24,000, but $2,400. In St. Cloud, the medium household income is a little bit higher than Davenport at $69,000. And here in St. Cloud, you can expect to uh, commute also to work for about 30 to 45 minutes, depending on where you're going. You have um, Route 192, which extend to all the way to Melbourne from east to um, 
west and it can help you uh, connect to the area of Kissimmee. You can get also to the Turnpike and um, um, yeah, you can travel pretty much anywhere from St. Cloud. Let's move to Apopka. Apopka is located in Orange County and it's just 13 minutes northwest of Orlando, 34 minutes from the Orlando International Airport, 19 minutes from the Orlando downtown area. Um, so here in Apopka, you have different alternative routes that can let can help you connect with the rest of Orlando. One of it being um, the Turnpike, Route 414, 429, and so on. Apopka was well known as the indoor foliage capital of the world due to the many greenhouse nurseries located there. Um, a lot of new construction happening in Apopka right now. In Apopka, the population size is about 55,000 residents, where 78% 78 of the residents currently own and only 22 of the residents rent. Home value for Apopka as of February of 2024 was about $400,000 and the median rent price as of March of 2024 was $2,300 per month. Okay. The medium uh, household income for a, pop, a popka was estimated at $87,000 per year. And for your transportation, you can expect pretty much the standard, the 30 to 45 minutes travel time. In a popka, about 23,000 uh, residents actually commute to work and only 5% work from home. Thanks for tuning in. Please give me a thumbs up. It actually helps me create more videos for you to enjoy and learn about Orlando. If you're curious, I will post a link in the description box below for you to go check some of the new construction home sites that I've recorded recently. Um, and uh, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Well, there you have it, the top three cities where you can find new construction homes here in Orlando. I hope the information that I just provided is valuable to you and it helped you make a decision about where to buy your new construction home in Orlando, Florida. I will see you on the next one.